hi and welcome to another video um, welcome to the third episode of project nusantara and yeah i'm fernandez um, so today uh, in this episode the third episode uh, we're gonna start off uh, with some highway detailing i think uh, after that uh, we'll be building the first of uh, many to come a uh, village or neighborhood uh, which is uh, uh, like uh, in Indonesia we call them kampongs so we'll be building the first kampong um, and we'll also build some temporary kind of stuff because now that we're gonna have citizens we're actually gonna uh, be solving the needs of the citizens so that they won't move out that quickly so yeah that's what we'll be doing uh, today but here i'm just laying down the uh, tracks and by the way that train station that i just plopped uh well this train station is actually gonna be temporary it's not gonna be here for a long time because i think i'm gonna replace that so i guess that's gonna be a, a placeholder for another station i'm gonna pop and now we're gonna jump into the highway detailing so but, uh, so here I'm actually plopping down some uh, chevron uh, signs uh, which is pretty much everywhere uh, in, on the highway uh, everywhere there is a turn there's always gonna be uh, these uh, chevron signs because it's for safety and highway safety is a uh, uh, priority I guess we love this in Indonesia of course we do because it's for safety reasons um, talking about highways uh, this trumpet interchange uh, I found out that it's actually the wrong way around it's supposed to like turn to the left but this one turns to the right so uh, that's the wrong way but we're just gonna leave it to we just leave it like how it is uh, now uh, we're actually gonna plop some signs uh, these signs are actually also thai assets as i told you before uh, thai assets are actually very cool uh, by that i mean that um, thai assets can really fit in well into like indonesian style like thai styles are very similar to indonesian styles which is awesome because there are really not that many um, indonesian assets Talking about Thai assets, this is also Thai assets, uh, the building, that's a police station, that's a Thai police station. Um, it looks similar, I guess, the building style, the architecture style, uh, with that roof and everything looks kind of similar to the stuff that you'll see here in Indonesia. Um, but like, this is not the most common design of uh, police stations because mostly the ones around my area or the ones in my area uh, they're mostly just uh, one story instead of two or three except for the headquarters they're usually very big they're actually very big in my area but the like small neighborhood kind of thing like the small smaller police stations they're usually pretty small and it has one story so that's a thing, but I'm gonna use that one because it's fine. Um, what else that should I talk about? Okay, these are narrow roads, right? Uh, these roads are uh, very common. Like if you go into any kampung, which has been uh, there for a long time, uh, then uh, you'll see this uh, these narrow roads inside. Uh, that's basic, basically the only roads inside are the narrow roads here. I don't know why they're narrow. I guess it's because back in the days, the, uh, the cars are not as wide as today. Or it's just that uh, back in the days, uh, these guys in the uh, kampung they don't have uh, any cars or something like that. But yeah, that's the thing. Narrow roads. Uh, talking about the kampungs, these houses fit really well into the Indonesian uh, architecture style, I guess. Even though these are also Thai assets, again, Thai assets are beautiful, amazing, love it. Fits in with the Indonesian style. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a row of houses. I'm gonna copy it 
onto the other side of the kampung or this area uh, after that I'm gonna start detailing that one row after that one row is detailed I'm gonna yeah so I'm basically gonna move those houses here and then after that after all of the houses are there here uh, I'm gonna start detailing them after that's done I'm gonna start copying and pasting them onto the other sides which is a cool technique that's gonna save us more time so that's cool um, <clears throat> sorry so yeah these houses are very similar to the ones in Indonesia talking about kampungs a kampung is basically a village but this village is like close to a city it's like sometimes it's even in the middle of the city like near to the center of the city but in this one uh, on this case uh, it's gonna be on the outskirts but it's not really like on the outskirts like it's still in the city but it's not like near the downtown area it's still a kampung it's basically a village near the city or in the city like it's a village but it's a part of the city that's the best I can do for you on explaining what kampung is basically a village lah, but in the city okay um, so as you can see here I'm plopping down this uh, walls because that's what you see here backyards are sometimes non-existent or small there will be these uh, walls also surrounding the houses but on the front there will be these uh, fences by the way, this fence is from the Park Life DLC, I think. Yeah. The park fences. Yeah, from the Park Life DLC. So basically what I'm doing here is just plopping down this uh, or dragging in this uh, fence to create a sort of uh, illusion or just the design. So basically uh, you can you you'll notice that uh, the houses are actually on one side. It's not in the center. It's either on the right side or the left side of the plot. And so basically, if the house is on the right, then they will like they'll park their uh, car or vehicles on the left side of the road. So basically, uh, that's gonna be the driveway. So these fences are not gonna be blocking the driveways. But then I found out that those houses actually have their own driveways. So yeah, but that's fine. Um, so basically, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Just creating the fences to not block their driveways. Um, so let me look on the list to talk about. Okay, yeah. So you might notice that this kampung is actually right next to, to a warehouse complex that we built uh, that we did and built on the last episode that's actually pretty common here in indonesia even my own house there's like a pretty big uh, it's not that big actually it's like a decent size um, warehouse complex near my house so that's a thing if you zoom out like if you if you go to google earth or google maps and you turn on the satellite view yeah, you can definitely see that there are big warehouses or even factories near uh, kampongs or neighborhoods, which is cool, I guess. So that's not that close to, um, it's not that, it's like, it's okay with Indonesian standards. Uh, what else should I talk about? Um... um okay um i don't really have anything to talk about now on the list but okay so i'm just gonna try and explain what i'm doing now so what i'm doing now is just copy pasting the houses as i said earlier to save time and that's actually a pretty cool technique i like doing it since it's saving time and i don't like to waste time so yeah um so i'm basically like re like i'm moving the roads to fit in with those houses and then i'm gonna end up moving some of the houses as well these houses now okay i'm gonna destroy them i guess <coughs> sorry 
Yeah, I'm gonna destroy all of them, then I'm gonna copy paste uh, the houses from the other side of the road. So, yeah, I'm gonna start copy pasting again. Um, in this episode, other than this, I'm actually gonna make, uh, I'm gonna build the an elementary school, which is awesome. After the elementary school, I'll also build a little plot of sawah. So basically, what a sawah is, um, sawah is a rice field. Talking about rice fields, uh, you know, rice fields. Uh, that's where you, that's where the farmers uh, like harvest rice and grow rice. Basically, in Indonesian culture. Um, you eat rice with everything. I'm not saying like everything. Like, okay, I mean, okay, you can say you can eat everything with rice. Like that's one of our cultures is to eat everything with rice. I'm not talking about Western food or uh, European food. Like you don't need to eat a steak with rice. You don't need to eat a pizza with rice. Like that doesn't make sense. But like uh, chicken with rice, that's very common. Any other meat with rice is very very common. Um, also like soups like uh, black soups or soto or rawon yeah that's very common. Those are Indonesian foods by the way, which is very delicious. If you have a chance to come here to Indonesia, you should totally try uh, soto, uh, rawon, uh, mie ayam, uh, other foods like nasi goreng. That's actually very good. Um, so yeah. Rice with everything, that's what we do here. But the rice field that I'm gonna build is actually not gonna be a real rice field, it's actually just gonna be a decal by. Beard Monkey? Maybe? I forgot, but it's just gonna be a decal of a field. But let's just pretend that it's rice field. Because currently, uh, I don't think I can afford downloading more assets. So yeah. Uh, my PC is not that strong. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, this narrow road right here. I was thinking about not doing this part of the kampung. But I was like, if I don't do this, then what else am I going to build in that uh, area or land? And so I decided to do it. Because why not? You know, you just do it. Oh, huh. well, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um... I'm actually gonna build a mask on that empty plot of land, so I'm gonna build a mask here. Um, I'm just gonna continue like doing these walls and etc. for a while. Um, I'm actually gonna start detailing the houses in a bit now, um, in just a little bit. That'll be like 15 seconds or something to go. Okay, now I'm okay. Actually, now I'm actually starting doing starting to detail um so basically these are motorcycles like okay before i get into those stuff what i'm doing now in the screen is i um i'm actually gonna plop down every prop that might fit into every indonesian house like the, the stuff that everyone has uh so basically this com a kampung is where basically the middle cl uh, um low income low class uh, lower class and middle class income people live some high class people will live here if they cannot uh, like move out or they just love the love the Indonesian uh, kampung culture so cool by the way I'm popping down motorcycles now basically almost every house has motorcycles so almost every household has at least one motorcycle or more Actually, I'm gonna look it up, like how many motorcycles is there in Indonesia, so please hold on. Um, okay, let's wait. No, I'm just looking it up right now. Uh, um, I'm also gonna pop like this clothes uh, thing. I don't know how you call it, but every household has them. Uh, either you're rich or not as rich you will have them because it's a necessity but sometimes the high like the very high class people will not have those because they're actually gonna have like the dryers so yeah 
um, okay uh, here's uh, here it is in 2018 the number of motorcycles in use was roughly 115 million units in Indonesia that's a lot considering that uh, our population now is around uh, 250 million or 260 million yeah which is crazy actually the fourth largest uh, country by population just behind the US so yeah that's cool so yeah this stuff um, they will usually yeah of course they use them to dry their clothes which is the the purpose of uh, having those clothes stuff I, I forgot the name I don't know why I just forgot the name but you know uh, because you're trying to dry your clothes Uh, clothes so you're gonna plop them in a place where there are no shadows or shades okay so now we're done with the detailing with props and so now we're gonna start detailing with trees and vegetations basically every house except for the ones that are abandoned here has trees at least some kind of plant because we do like trees I guess except for those capitalist guys that just want to you know destroy the forest but sure we still plant uh, trees on our plots which is cool i am usually i am using friendly trees but i promise you in future episodes i will start using custom trees by mr mason and everyone else um so basically um our trees here Like I've looked up trees on the workshop. We have mango trees, we have banana trees, we have uh, pine trees, we have other trees. But the trees that you see here are not really common in the Western world, except for the pine tree and the gum tree. But other than those, the trees that we have here are not really common. Like we like to have fruit, uh, fruit trees or fl- fruit plants like Uh, what do you call that uh, apple trees or mango trees or oranges to plant on our own uh, yard or front yard or backyard so that we don't have to spend money on buying fruits but some of us don't want to bother with that so we still buy fruits um, so now I'm gonna pop down the mask like literally Uh, masks are everywhere here in Indonesia um, if you look up mask on Google Maps it's actually yeah, there is gonna be lots of them but if you do the same thing to viharas or temples or uh, churches then there are also lots of them but since Muslim or Islam is the majority country uh, what majority uh, like is the majority like yeah most of the people here people here are um you know uh, muslim the religion so mosques are everywhere so that's just something that we look forward to what i mean that's what you will ex- expect 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 for from indonesia from a muslim majority country so yeah that's gonna be everywhere i'm just gonna continue doing the trees for now for a while actually um, what else should I talk about okay in this episode I'm also gonna as I said earlier I'm also gonna build this school and this is gonna be the start of building the school so this road is eventually gonna lead to the elementary school um, about the schools we do have prep schools but most of the schools are regulated or subsidized by the government or owned by the minister of education but anyway i'm gonna use this um thai elementary school assets which are actually very similar to the ones that you will find in indonesia so i'm happy with this i like it a lot it's very similar to what you will find here in indonesia um so that that other building that i plot uh, the third guy That's actually uh, gonna be the gymnasium or the sports building. It's gonna be like a small stadium 
for the school it's usually a, it's usually a multi-purpose hall so any ceremony you'll do there except for the flag ceremony well actually some school will do the flag ceremony indoors but mostly most of the times on most of the schools they'll do a flag the flag ceremony on the field which i just plop down that's gonna be the football field for the school might be oversized but sure why not we do love football here uh, usually if there are empty land we'll just you know play football kids will just play football so that's cool um one thing about this football asset football field asset is that um it has parking spots on its left and right side and so sometimes you will see cars starting to park over there which is actually a problem but sure um so i was talking about the flag ceremony so basically the flag ceremony that we do here in indonesia is basically a ceremony that we do every monday uh, or every like holiday i guess like if it's a if it's hari kartini or if it's hari pahlawan or if it's uh like a big day or if it's the independence day that's definitely gonna happen so basically the flag ceremony is basically just a ceremony to pay respect to the flag of indonesia talking about the flag of indonesia uh, there are like only one asset by sven berlin uh which is the, the flag of indonesia oh you can see the car is parked up over here in this screen on the screen but basically yeah that's it um so the flag like there are not many flags here but the flags are a thing i guess but the work in the workshop it's not it doesn't really exist and so i decided to make my own with the help of a guide as it is kalian's guide by toyota hilux and the other guy which i forgot but that's the thing um, after that uh, i decided to make my own flag which is actually now in the workshop i don't i don't know if you know my workshop but sure um so yeah uh that's a thing i i didn't actually pop it down in this episode because i've recorded like so many episodes in advance uh so i haven't got around with you plopping down the uh, flag so yeah what i'm doing now is actually using the fill decals that i was talking about by beard monkey i think but if it's not then yeah sorry about that but yeah these fill some this is i want this to be a temporary thing i'm still searching for the workshop for a low poly low try uh, low try kind of option to change this because basically rice fills are everywhere as i said earlier rice fills are very very important um but at least we have this for now the the fields so yeah that's a thing um what else should i talk about let's see oh, we're actually gonna start we're actually gonna start uh putting down trees and walls on the school so that they know like they can define the plot of the school After this, we're actually gonna return back to the highway to actually detail more stuff on the highway. But yeah, we're gonna add some guardrails in a bit. But now we're gonna add the walls for the elementary school, because that's a thing, right? As I said earlier. So yeah. Okay. Um, you can see some cars parked over there, man. If that asset doesn't have the parking things, I'll be so happy with the asset. But it's okay, you know, it's fine, I like it. Uh, so I'm, and short, uh, shortly, I'm gonna, now actually, I'm gonna add trees into the school. I would actually like to say, like, there's this government program, uh, which is uh, which is called Adiwiata. So, Sekolah Adiwiata, or Adiwiata School. It's basically like a school program just made by the government, created by the government, uh, which is basically like a program where the school teachers or everyone, anyone in the school uh, will teach the student about nature and environment. 
and how they need to clean the environment how they need to keep the environment clean and great looking to improve their lives uh, in, the, in the future so that's a thing which is cool actually i like it um so now as i said earlier uh, we're gonna start getting the highway with guardrails i don't actually have anything else to say in this time so but that's why i'm gonna keep talking um on the next episode actually it's gonna be one of my favorite episodes actually this one's actually also one of my favorite episodes but the next episode is also gonna be one of my favorite episodes because we're actually gonna make uh the first what do you call that sorry by the way um uh the pasar so market basically every kampung every neighborhood every district has one pasar which is cool that's basically where you this is uh, that's it's basically the traditional market or the market or the farmers market whatever you want to call it it's just where you buy uh, fresh fruit fresh vegetables fresh meat fresh everything so that's where you buy those stuff it's actually gonna be pretty detailed episode it's actually gonna be very detailed but uh shortly after this uh, in a few minutes in like three minutes or something we're actually gonna start uh, making the outer parts of the pasar it's basically gonna be like some buildings on the main road i guess i'm gonna explain it to you later but yeah what i'm doing now is just highway uh detailing stuff i'm so sorry i'm kind of sick but whatever I need to get this video out by today, so yeah. By the way, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, which you should totally, which if you haven't, you should totally follow me on Twitter. Um, you know, um, I tweeted uh, like last week or something that uh, my internet sucks, which it did. Uh, my internet provider is in the home, but 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 here's a positive thing. They actually came to my house say, yesterday, like some technicians, and they actually upgraded the Wi-Fi. You know, this is how bad the Wi-Fi used to be. It used to be 0 0.11, 0 0.11 for the upload speed, in which is just a nightmare to upload 30-minute videos, but whatever, I'm still doing it. But now, after they fix it and they replace the root, uh, Wi-Fi router, uh, now the okay that's 0.11 mbps uh, now it's actually on 5 mbps which is way better and then the download speed it used to be 0.5 mbps and now it's on 17 mbps uh, that's just crazy so that's great thank you in the home uh my my internet is not as slow now Talking about, uh, I guess, now I'm gonna talk about seating needs, actually. Seating needs are cool. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's gonna, yeah. Anyway, those are still temporary. The cemetery that you saw, that one, uh, that one's actually gonna be permanent. Because I like the way that it's there. You know, every district has to have one, you know. Like, you cannot deny that. So, yeah. Uh, in just a few seconds, I will actually start detailing or start making the outskirts of the pasar as I said earlier. It's gonna be some white brick buildings uh, which is from the Shanty Town collection which I do recommend because it's cool. Um, so basically, yeah, I don't know if I should talk about it now but I'm just gonna do it at 8 seconds. From now. so it's gonna be now so here and it's actually in the mark but I'm not gonna pop down and in the mark on this side of the road but anyway I'm gonna start popping down some of the white brick buildings which is one of these guys you can actually see white buildings uh, white brick buildings um, which are very pretty common here in Indonesia um i guess the story behind this kind of area is that the people like because of the huge demand of the residential area like huge residential demand 
people actually started to build their own houses which are unregulated because they build it without permission i guess but it's fine it's cool i like it i like the look of it so basically they start uh, building these shacks and houses and i'm guessing some of them are actually some industry buildings i know it's actually residential in the game but let's pretend that one of them like the one on the right the big the long one guy on the right is actually an industry building that makes some kind of product but that's fine now what i'm doing here is i'm gonna um plopping down all of the uh stuff of the props that i'm gonna use to decorate so these props are actually gonna be like market props the idea is um when people start um moving in they don't know where to make money well actually they do know where to make money they have jobs but then like the they figured out that because hey we're next to the main road we're on the main road why not uh, why don't we compete with the future pasar and why don't we start selling s stuff of our own which is cool right selling stuff economics but yeah cool so that's the idea behind it. There are gonna be a few warungs, which I don't know the English for. It's basically like a shack or a kiosk where they sell food, street food basically. That's gonna be one of those, those green stuff is actually gonna be uh, the warungs. Those are actually, a that's actually a vanilla asset from the Park Life DLC, which is cool. Um, and so yeah, the I'm actually starting, uh, the, I'm gonna start it in this, but the outro music is actually gonna be in in a, in a minute. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please share this, and please like the video because it's gonna tell YouTube that this content is actually good to be uh, suggested to other people. But yeah, that's a thing. So, uh, Next video is gonna be on next uh, Saturday or Friday, Pacific time and on an Eastern time, I guess. Then it's gonna be on Fridays or Saturdays or Sundays. Now it's gonna be on Sundays or Saturdays for uh, Western Indonesian times. But yeah, that's basically it for today. Um, next episode is gonna be fine. So, you know, everything's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be cool. Next episode's gonna be cool so yeah as you can hear now the outro music is here now so yeah that's it for this episode and i'll see you on the next episode next week see ya